What if I told you that Google just released a budget AI model that's beating Claude Sana 4.5, matching their own flagship pro model and achieving 78% on coding benchmarks while being 3x faster and a fraction of the cost? Yeah, the AI game just got turned completely upside down. And here's the kicker, they're giving it away for free. If you're not a first mover on this, you're already behind. Gemini 3 Flash, you get the sophistication, the power, the ability to handle really complex tasks and use tools mm -hmm. of a really big model, but available to really for everyday use. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than first-hand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage in our online school, the AI R&D Labs. Learn more at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Google just dropped Gemini 3 Flash, and the AI community is in complete chaos right now. Why? Because this isn't supposed to happen. Flash models are supposed to be the light versions. The budget option, the one you use when you need something fast and cheap, not when you need serious intelligence. But Gemini 3 Flash just threw that entire rule book out the window. Let me show you what I mean, because when I saw these benchmarks, I literally had to double check that I was reading them correctly. Look at this chart on GPQA Diamond, that's PhD level reasoning. Gemini 3 Flash scored 90.4%. That's not just good, that's frontier model territory. On SWE Bench Verified, which tests real coding capabilities, 78%. Here's what's absolutely wild about that number. It beats Gemini 3 Pro, the flagship model, the expensive one, on MMMU Pro for multimodal understanding. 81.2%, again, matching pro level performance. And when you look at the Reddit threads, developers are losing their minds because this flash model is outperforming Claude Sana 4.5 across multiple benchmarks. One user put it perfectly, I've never seen such a strong light model, but here's where it gets even crazier. Gemini 3 Flash isn't just matching these premium models in intelligence. It's 3x faster than Gemini 2.5 Pro and the pricing $0.50 per million input tokens, $3 per million output tokens. To put that in perspective, you're getting pro level intelligence at flash level speed and cost. This is what's called pushing the Pareto frontier. You're not supposed to get top tier performance and speed and affordability all at once, but Google just did it. And the implications of this are absolutely massive for anyone building with AI, creating content or running a business. Here's why this matters for you specifically. For developers, Companies like JetBrains, Bridgewater Associates, Figma, Cursor, they're already using this to transform their production systems, real-time coding assistance, A-B testing at lightning speed, production-ready applications that think and move fast. For content creators, this is now the default model in the Gemini app. That means you can analyze videos, images, audio, extract insights, create plans, build content strategies in seconds for free for businesses. Imagine AI agents that can reason through complex problems, but respond in milliseconds, customer service, data analysis, video understanding, all of it just got exponentially more accessible. One Redditor pointed out something fascinating. Sometimes the smaller, faster models actually outperform because they don't overthink themselves out of the correct answer. They called it anti-anxiety meds for AI. And that might be exactly what we're seeing here. Let me show you what Gemini 3 Flash can actually do. Upload a video of your golf swing and it'll analyze it and give you a complete improvement plan in seconds. Start sketching something and it'll predict what you're drawing in real time. 
record an audio lecture, and it'll identify knowledge gaps, create a custom quiz, and provide detailed explanations. Describe an app idea using voice, and it'll build a working prototype in minutes. No coding knowledge required. And it's rolling out in AI mode in search, which means you can tackle complex research questions with pro level reasoning at search level speed. I recently got to sit down with Robbie Stein, our VP of product management for Google search to talk through these latest AI updates to search and what they mean for how we'll be researching and discovering information. I mean, what's exciting, particularly bringing Gemini 3 in search is that with Gemini 3 flash, you get the sophistication, the power, the ability to handle really complex tasks and use tools mm -hmm. of a really big model, um, but available to really for everyday use. And I think that's a really special um, a part of what Flash offers. And now AI mode in search um, is now powered by Gemini 3 Flash across the world. And people can start trying that today um, just by Googling something and clicking on AI mode or going to google.ai if you wanted to try out a shortcut. That's amazing. So the AI generated snippets we see in Google are coming from Gemini. Yeah. So when you go, wow. when, you, when you search for something, the Gemini model is the model that underpins our search AI. Obviously there's other work we do on top of it to make it great for informational tasks. But when you, when you search for something and you get either an AI overview or you find yourself in AI mode to have a conversation with search, um, that's being powered now um, by Gemini models and in AI mode, we announced this week that that is now Gemini three. Yes, amazing. A question that I see a lot, uh, first members, labs members, the business owners that follow us is like, how can I optimize my business to show up in those golden little snippets that Gemini picks to show? What would be some things you would share? And I know that's like AEO, which is kind of a new world for us versus SEO. Yeah, I mean, what's neat about the way the system works is um, our search AI is built on top of our search system. Um, and so what happens when you type in a question or you ask a question or you put a photo um, up with a question, either way, um, the model will, will reason if it needs to do that about what kinds of information it might need. And then it actually issues these Google fan out queries. So um, it'll issue maybe, it could issue a dozen or dozens of questions and they're basically Google searches under hmm. the hood. And then for each Google search, there's obviously retrieval that would happen with that, you know, naturally for a given question. So if your website shows up um, for a question that the model thinks to ask, it, it's very likely that you could show up in the AI response as well. Um, mm. So I think what's what, what's helpful here is if you just think about um, how to build, if you think a look at the Google kind of um, search guidelines around content and around how um, ratings work and rating rater guidelines, which are you know public information, you can just kind of learn about how Google and our systems value content and value you know the originality, the clarity, the satisfying of user intent um, of, of information, and um, you know, the more the more people trust that information in general, um, the more the system learns that, and you kind of are also, um, you know, hopefully going to be discovered in our AI surfaces as well. And you know, the only difference is because the models do this query fan out, you're actually getting a wider um, query kind of ra range and to to discover new content in our AI surfaces versus doing one query, you know, in the main mm. search uh, page. Wow, thanks for explaining that. So basically, good old SEO is not dead. Don't ignore the guidelines. <laughs> Follow all of that and it'll still be a critical way to show up in the Gemini answers as well. Thanks so much. This has been really informative. The marriage of frontier intelligence with instant speed is going to fundamentally change how we interact with information. Here's what I think is really happening. We're witnessing a compression of capability. What used to require massive, expensive, slow models is now available in fast, affordable packages. And this isn't just about Google. This is about the entire AI race hitting a new phase. When your budget model can trade blows with flagships, when your flash version can beat premium competitors, the game has fundamentally changed. OpenAI is reportedly going code purple, according to some insiders. And I get why. Because Gemini 3 Flash isn't just competing. It's redefining what's possible at each tier of AI capability. This is the automation cliff I've been warning about. It's not coming in 2027. It's happening right now. So here's my question for you. Are you ready? Because while everyone else is still trying to figure out what model to pay for, first movers are already building with Gemini 3 Flash. They're already creating systems that leverage this frontier intelligence at scale. They're already automating workflows that their competitors 
think require expensive premium models. The gap between those who move now and those who wait is about to become a chasm. And here's the beautiful part. Google is giving this to you for free in the Gemini app. There is literally no excuse not to start experimenting today. This is exactly why I created Clone to Scale, because the methodology I teach using AI to multiply your content output across platforms while maintaining your authentic voice, it just got 3x faster and infinitely more accessible. What used to require careful prompt engineering and expensive API calls can now happen in real-time conversations with a free tool, video analysis, content repurposing, strategic planning, multimodal reasoning, across text, image, video, and audio, all of it in one model. For free, the creators who understand how to leverage this are going to absolutely dominate 2025. If you want to learn the exact methodology I use to turn one piece of content into an empire across platforms, the system that got me to $100,000 per month and 200,000 YouTube subscribers, Clone to Scale is your blueprint. The link is in the description, but regardless of whether you join Clone to Scale, I need you to do one thing. Go download the Gemini app today, start playing with Gemini 3 Flash, push it, test it, see what it can do, because this isn't just another model release. This is the moment when Frontier AI became accessible to everyone and the first movers who recognize that are going to build empires if this video helped you understand why Gemini 3 Flash is such a massive release, smash that like button and subscribe because we're tracking every single development in this AI race. Drop a comment and tell me, what are you gonna build with Gemini 3 Flash? I'm Julia McCoy and remember in the age of AI, you're either a first mover or you're falling behind. The automation cliff is here. The question is, are you ready to jump? Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.